Ah, uh, they're working on my bridge down there and trying to get it finished up so we'll have a new bridge to run over. Doing a real good job. My name is Ethan Gingrich. I'm the bridge program director for Engineers in Action. We're standing here in Lysmore, West Virginia at the Vance Bridge Project. Well, we had the flood in 2016 and it washed out the rocks that were holding up the end of the bridge. That's the deepest I ever saw the water here. When I graduated from college, I went to work for Jay-Z Engineering and that, they have been a long-term partner of Mennonite Disaster Service. They've collaborated on all kinds of different disaster relief projects. I said, Johan, what do you think about the idea of us getting some EIA students involved with these bridges? And he said, that sounds awesome to me. Let's talk to MDS and BOAD about it. I'm Lauren Horvath. I'm going to be an incoming junior mechanical engineering at U of I. My name is Mohamed Nouri. I'm from Rutgers. I am doing civil engineering, most likely bridge structural engineering. But I was about to choose mathematics as my major. I'm glad I didn't. I found to all the amazing people in civil. Boad went out, identified all the, the bridge sites, did the casework with the families, got all that arranged, and they set four projects aside for EIA students to work on over the summer. MDS helped us out with the lodging and with the site coordination, with the tool trailer. Jay-Z Engineering pitched in with all the engineering design, trained Colton, who's our site supervisor here for MDS, uh, make sure all the students could get good training on how to do all the different construction practices and that we were doing everything safely. We also have mentors, professional mentors from a bunch of different engineering companies who are coming to share their professional expertise and their, their experience in construction and engineering and management, reach out and make connections and help people, which is especially valuable in, in a time like the pandemic when it's harder to make those connections. Something like this was the perfect type of project, I think, because you got to learn how to do it, you got to design it, and then you actually get to go build it and see what the product of your work is, which I think is just an added bonus to it. We built this like family kind of connection with each other, and which really helped us to be having better communication. All right, this one is heavy. This one is heavy. And to find these young people that come out and work like this, and it, it gives you hope. It really does. It gives you hope for the future. I'm so glad that this trip worked out and that we have had this amazing experience and I can't wait to see the bridge be finished and have the first car drive across it because it's going to be amazing. And I can't wait to see Dennis's reaction as well because I think he's going to like it. Everything's just going so great. All the people so good and everything and friendly. God has always provided the way. It's, it's a real blessing.